Hey yo, what is going on you guys? Calahandro here and welcome back to the episode of Magayon. In this episode, we're going to be building homes and apartments. But before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. With that being said, let's get started. So in this episode, we are going to build more residential. I've said in the previous episode that we are going to be expanding the city uh, size-wise in population because we literally have like it's already we're already 30 episodes in and we only have like 2,000 people so my plan for the next few builds is going to focus a little bit on building up the population while also doing a lot of development in the city and speaking of development in the city you'd see me like very quickly just do this interchange intersection it's a four-way intersection with dedicated left and right turning lanes i mean dedicated right turning lanes and you know there's an extra lane for like left lanes but they still go through the same intersection as you can see i'm taking inspiration from singapore yes yes this picture right here i'm taking this inspiration from that inter intersection and yeah we're gonna have a lot of intersections like that in the city um as you can see here that I'm placing these lines like they're supposed to stop in that square in the center but rather they still stop on the like here with the arrows I don't know how to fix that so you'd see the cars not actually following the line they don't stop on that so I I don't know how to change that if you guys have any suggestions um, hit me up in the comments but you know it's okay I'm not that uh, uh, worried about this as long as it looks aesthetically pleasing and it works it's fine and I'm also using this um, curb network and using node controller to make it thinner by changing the segments um, percent of percent size and then yeah it makes it makes it a good median and we have a median here so that you know people won't do unnecessary turns because for safety and also because this is a main road and yeah now you'd see me try to make this um, elevated pathway or ring around like elevated thing. I tried to do this, but I didn't want to obstruct the view of traffic. And this, that, that just looks a little bit ugly. And yeah, it doesn't look, it doesn't quite suit the vibe. And we're going to be having, um, so I, I decided to, you know, make it sunken yes yes that looks a little bit better that's a little bit more you know a little bit more a little bit more uh, it's cleaner and you don't necessarily see it that much and this tunnel make it look like it's very like you know feeling subway long you know <laughs> even though it's not a subway it's just a it's just a, an underpass for pedestrians but yeah because since i think this is we're good you know i've a lot of footage has been cut in this episode because we we were like trying to get like how this is gonna go and i also tried to like plan out the next episodes and expand the road network and you know go into the nitty-gritty into the like the more specifics and this part right here this intersection right here is a little bit on the outskirt of the city here's the map of the city so you'd see that this is the place that we've this has already been built you see this road here and this road is going to be dedicated i'm still not sure if you guys you know want to we're gonna make that into a the olympic park since the olympics is coming i think that place should be like where the olympics is held like in i think olympics magayon 2032 or 2034 you know anyways hit me up in the comments if you guys have any suggestions for an olympic build because we're gonna make olympics because the olympics in like is in like a week or so and it's gonna be until august 6th i'm not quite sure it's already been delayed a year so yeah anyways with that whole olympics tangent done you'd see me place this bike network again and you know i wanted to use this like um pink one but that was before i discovered you can use intersection marking tool to paint over that part and to make it like pink so that bikes could actually use it but you know if i use this note it's gonna be bikers are gonna prefer it more than the bike networks that are actually in the road itself because these are a bit faster i think because pedestrians would prefer like pedestrian paths over like the sidewalks on roads so 
I'm using that theory there. I'm not quite sure. If you if you have anything to back it up, you'll be able to comments. So now we're actually going to be starting building the public housing. I don't think it's going to be public housing, but I think it is because I'm taking a lot of inspiration from Singapore because as you can see, as you can see, Singapore is one of the richest countries in the world. And you know where Singapore is located? In Southeast Mother Freaking Asia. So, you know, we're building the Philippines that was never colonized. And we're going to be taking inspiration from Singapore because we want to make it look nice, you know. But yeah, it's just taking inspiration. It's loosely inspired by those places. So don't expect ev everything like on the spot because you know since the city is scaled way down and you know it's a mix and match of things that you know hopefully look nice and yeah changing the road layouts the road layouts out here in Tondok this area is Tondok um, and Kalaokan I'm not sure the names uh, but Kalaokan um, owns this public housing right here but um, Tondok owns the like residential area we're gonna build later on and now you see me place these very tall public house um, South Korean style department buildings but I was like oh, these are a little bit too tall these are they are protruding a little bit higher than this around the skyline that it's 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 like a little bit taller than the skyline itself so I want to make the tall buildings iconic and yeah we're gonna keep it a little bit lower on the lower side but we're still gonna have like very tall apartment buildings later on but you know since it's Singapore it's gonna be built beautifully like planned properly and you know it's not gonna look like Manila which is super dense high-rise and you know very cool lang now little to no public space greenery and yeah so you saw me elevate that space up you know make the road a little bit higher because since this is Tondok and Tundok originates the etymology is like Bundok and Bundok is like mountain in Filipino and it's supposed to be a little bit hilly and in Singapore it actually was hilly there the place I'm taking inspiration from which is this one as you can see we have that pool there and yeah so it's kind of a little bit hilly and I wanted to capture that hilliness because the map is completely flat but I'm planning on making like the capital city, like the central part of the city at sea level. And then as farther you go from the city, the elevation rises and there's going to be a little bit hill hillier. Like, you know, so that it would, would look, you know, we'd have ver a variety and it, it wouldn't look like too monotonous. And, you know, adding in height differences makes these builds look just a little bit more realistic. And yeah, this public housing right here is going to be for the middle and the upper class. Mostly the middle class and the like, because you know, there's not no, not many poor people here. The poor people, I don't know where the lower income people are going to be living in the city. If you guys have any suggestions on where they would be located in the city, hit me up in the comments because, you know, at least you'd you'd have a helping hand and, you know, making it a little bit easier for me to, you know, decide on where we're going to be building in the city. But if you guys want to have like a more direct input on where, how, what we should build in the city and the suggestions, consider becoming a Discord member. Um, I actually have a community Discord now, so if you guys want to check it out, the link is down below. We talk all about the plans for Magayon there, and basically anything under the sun. But, you know, we're focused on architecture, history, all this, all that, urban planning. You know, we're kind of a little bit, a bit interested in that, so that's the topic for now. But if you guys want to join and bring in a little bit more flavor into the Discord, I'd highly recommend so. And now, we're going to be building the fencing around this public housing. I mean, in the Philippines, we have like condominiums like like this, designed similar to this, but it's only for the very, very rich and not very, very rich, like very rich only because, you know, basically it's exclusive residential area. The poor people still live in the slums and, you know, it's not a good system, but yeah, it is what it is and hopefully we develop. I hopefully we catch up with our neighboring countries because we're lagging behind but you know there have been strives but we need to move faster but yeah now I'm doing this you saw me build those roads by the way 
in those sides and that side it's gonna be um commercial yes yes like big box retail i think but it's you know denser since it's singaporean and philippine style so the malls are gonna be have a lot of floors and lesser parking because we don't have that much visible parking here because as i've said we have a very small space and yeah i just placed a tennis court right there it's a public tennis court anyone can access it but the people living here have you know kind of an exclusive you know uh no exclusive a priority access so they're gonna have like direct access to this one and now we're building like along the road restaurants now i think that this was been this has been here way before the city um developed the public housing on that side like this was like um an outskirts part of the city like it was just a highway that went out into the province but was later than developed when the city developed my accent is sleeping sleeping to rock the log anyways so yeah so i imagine that this was like a little bit older part and this was like during the 70s this was just you know plain highway and there were like restaurants along the highway and you can see those through there that's that's the city skylines version of olive garden and the city skylines version of a burger joint i don't know basically those are like very iconic stores in the city and they decided to keep it and the tennis court is you know placed there as well and as well <laughs> yeah you know if you know the as well thing if you're filipino the as well it's very you know iconic and now we're doing the what they call this the single detached homes like houses that are like separate houses like you know, I don't know what they're called. You see them later, and I imagine that these were these were the rich people who lived on top of this hill because this is a hill actually, and they decided to call this home. And across like the hill, it was just you know farmland or something. So the city bought that, and they developed that public housing you saw right there. And yeah, th th their house is like very cool. It's very cool. They have like amazing views of the volcano, as you've seen, as you will see in the cinematics. And yeah, across that is like the train station. You'd see me change the train station, by the way. You know, I was just trying out things. But if you guys have any more suggestions for train stations, I'm 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 stuck on a dilemma on whether I should use an old style since the city is also a 1910s in the center of the city. But as you expand, it's gonna be more current. You know, hit me up in the comments. And yeah, this is where the rich rich, like the rich that we that was like a little bit old rich, old money rich. If you know crazy rich Asians, you'd know what I'm talking about. So they'd be living on the outskirts of the city in like single detached homes like that. Yes. But we are going to have like much larger homes like for the super rich way up in the mountains near the interlace which i built in the last episode so if you haven't seen the last episode it's this one it's a public housing complex inspired by the same name in singapore but as you can see it's like stacked buildings on top of one another forming a hexagonal shape which is nice for airflow sun exposure temperature all this all that and especially for the community and yes yeah, so it has a lot of greenery but it's also public housing but it's for a little bit upper higher tiered people like upper middle class and upper class upper class what's so called the higher class first class second class economy i don't know um we're we're trying to strike like because singapore has like this balance where they have like in the same community they have various different um living um types like classes living together and also ethnicities so yeah there's like it has to be balanced because in Ch singapore has indian malay and chinese population major major populations the three of them so they they like mix them up together so that there wouldn't be anything you know and also singapore is kind of like it's like authoritarian but democratic a capitalist i mean you know but i think you know i watched this video by polymatter and they stated this like basically singapore is a corporation and they do anything that would you know benefit the um their investors and also their employees so yeah if you want to watch that video i'll link it down below and yeah now i'm just you know fixing up the height differences as i've said i wanted this to look a little bit more hilly since the name of this place is tondok and yeah, Bundok again, Dundalk, hilly, 
you know we're just taking names from real life and just playing with them a little bit so yeah now you'd see me place parking lots on in front of these houses now just imagine that there is actually a dedicated underground parking area i'm going to be building that later like some part of it is like uh, above ground but most of it is underground so yeah we just need this parking so that the sims can actually park and that they would use cars in the city because if i don't have any parking um, i'm using um traffic manager president edition so i have to have parking lots and they will actually occupy them and they will actually use cars i think that's what it said on the menus and i'm just following the rules and yeah so terrain differences aside you know that i just placed that surface there and we have this like cute little back moment here like a back alley or thing and it has trees here is a little picture of it because it looked so amazing it's so cozy yes you imagine just sitting there you know chilling walking behind the houses and you saw someone and they were like hey what's up what you doing you know just chilling and you're both chilling at the same time wow amazing story wow full of content life-changing nice post thanks for sharing so yeah anyways you saw that that's a parking lot there and i just placed another gymnasium so that people can do physical activity i think i don't know i think inside those tall apartment buildings there would be a gym but yeah now you there was like a short blip of the overpass and now we're just detailing the roads the main avenue i still have don't i don't know the name for this one but this road is the one that goes across the chickens are crowing behind me but don't mind them um across the like here's a picture of it basically this entire avenue going from the capital radiating out towards the outside outskirts of the city so yeah i don't think if i should i don't think yeah anyways now i'm just doing intersection marking tool detailing it and you know making it look nice and all that and i'm using the surface poppable surface asphalt and i'm going to be changing the color of them later on so that they would mix a little bit more better and i'm building this like yellow box i don't know we have a lot of these like yellow box and they're just going to be like an x on the inside because you can't actually you have to stop when you're there if there is like any vehicles going you have to stop and because this is like uh an exit like this road going into the ano is like an exit and we're gonna have like commercial here so traffic going through can go straight through on the leftmost lane on, and on the two rightmost lanes or those are gonna be like access roads and i'm actually thinking of dedicating lanes to be um, bus lanes only because the traffic here is quite low and we have like an amazing public transport system in this city planning to have we already have like a tram system in the city center and we have like a subway like a special subway but most of it is over above ground and yeah you just saw me use intersection marking tool the chicken keeps going behind me but anyways r rowing what do you call the what do chickens do they i don't know they make sounds basically anyways so yeah i'm using intersection marking tool to change the color of the road to make it pink or red i don't know to match the bike lanes and i'm using move it and the painter mod to change the color of the asphalt that the only asphalt the asphalt that i actually want because i can actually change the color of the asphalt in the ploppable asphalt mod but it would change all the asphalt in the city so yeah now you see me now we're doing the landscaping which is the finishing touches and the finishing finishing touches are like the best part of the episode because you, re you really get to see it really brings it to life you know it makes it look Magayon. Yeah, well, segue. Very nice. Magayon is beautiful in Bicol, which is my native language. And yeah, we have a lot of trees along the road because, once again, this is Singapore. And here in Singapore, not here in Singapore. Well, am I Singaporean? Yeah? I mean, in Singapore, let's not use here because I'm not in Singapore. In Singapore, they have a lot of trees beside roads and they have iconic roads which have a lot of trees if you guys want to check them out you know you can go to singapore if you have the money and if you can't 
like me, just go on Google Maps and on YouTube, you know. The world is such an amazing place and we have never been more connected than ever before after the internet, if you know what I mean. And yeah, just using these decal pavements because, you know, I don't want to use any more nodes because I think in this like build alone, we have like tons of nodes in the city in this like part. But yeah, adding in a lot of trees and bushes uh, across the road because I'm also setting this up in late in the 2030s when the climate crisis is like literally the like deciding factor for everything that is happening in the city so they decided to you know continue planting more trees and keeping the place cool to reduce the urban heat island effect and yeah now we're doing the landscaping busheries on the uh single detached homes and yeah yeah no, now you'd see me like the houses are like literally taller i mean higher than the apartments so yeah, i have to put ploppable grass there and also they are like you know quite visible from the apartment so later on you're gonna see me place tall trees to block to you know protect their privacy and you know living here is like already a luxury but yeah now i'm adding in this these um palm trees by pedelmo these are like one of the ama most amazing palm trees their size is perfect their shade their type of green is perfect for the city and their detail is chef's kiss but yeah you you, ha you saw me like there's like this building here like that's a school that big building you saw on the side of this residential area Eh, I'm not quite satisfied with that one so you know I just deleted it a lot of things have been deleted off this video because you know we're a little bit of a perfectionist you know it's both a blessing and a curse because you can do amazing things but you can't do them all the time because you have such high standards for yourself but you know we try to keep a balance we don't want to you know be too much of the other i want to have the series i think the series for the most part for the most part so far has struck that balance and yeah now you see me place these trees here and i think we're gonna be go ah oh, i cut the footage where i went down the road and showed you the secret like back thing but yeah now you see me do this like the entrance to the um to the what do you call this to the public apartment public housing and yeah you have to make the roundabouts as you've seen the last episode and episodes prior each of like roundabouts or like circle things we have like cypress on the sides because it's like it's like a welcoming tree <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about it's a welcoming tree and it's like so slim and it points up you it makes you feel like you're safe makes it feel luxurious if you know what i mean it's like secluding you off it's like a wall but with trees if you understand architecture people design people if you understand hit me up in the comments but yeah we're adding in these huge trees and now let's imagine that these huge trees were like here before i mean no the huge trees were planted here during the construction of this one but this was built in the 70s as you can see by the architecture and that house right there just like the clubhouse that's where they gather the buildings look a little bit you know postmodernist no no not postmodernist like it's it's rush they are russian buildings actually but like built newer russian buildings let's just imagine that this was built in 70s 80s type of thing and now you'd see these huge trees that those small saplings bloom into huge gigantic canopic trees and yeah we're adding a lot of bushes 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 trees 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 because you know it's like a little bit on the outskirts and it's a hill so it has to have a lot of trees actually i don't know i'm just basing this off of singapore and it had a lot of trees so we're doing that because why not <laughs> yeah you know it looks good it's amazing and it's very 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 amazing to walk on if you guys want to see like um walkthroughs like first person tours of the city hit me up in the comments because i would gladly do so like I've been walking around this city like for the most part and that's why that's the reason why some videos are a little bit delayed a little bit early you know sometimes I just you know use all of use my time use all use up all my time on like walking around the city panning taking screenshots 
And if you guys want to see some of those screenshots, consider following me on Instagram. And because I have a lot of pictures there, and you'd see Magayon from top, from the bottom, from the ground, from anywhere you can think of. And yeah, you know, making these videos take a lot of time and energy to do from research and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to support me in making more frequent, higher quality videos, consider becoming a patron on patreon.com slash Calihandro and become an official citizen of Magayon, exclusive content and early access to my asset list. I just want to give a quick shout out to CJ Newton for supporting me. Yes, yes, I will give shout outs to tier three patrons and your name will be in the end credits as well. So yeah, but if you can't, that's okay. You can still subscribe and hit that bell notification. You'd be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. And this is Kanehandro signing off.